The system prompt represents the entire message that Klein sends to the LLM. That means when you send a prompt to Klein to do something, your message is actually appended to a much larger prompt called the system prompt. And you might be wondering, why isn't my prompt just sent directly to the LLM as it is? Let's say your prompt to Klein was, can you add a new function to this file? Now, if this prompt was sent directly to the LLM, the LLM doesn't know what you mean by this file and what you mean by new function. Essentially, it might know your intent, but it lacks the context to understand what this file and new function might mean. Thankfully, Klein acts on your behalf to provide the right context to the LLM. Klein will add information about you and your code base and other relevant details so that LLM can now understand what you mean by new function and what you meant by this file. And all of this is stored directly inside the system prompt. To truly understand what client's system prompt might look like, we can divide the system prompt into three different sections, tools, system information, and user preference. Starting with the tools section, tools are essentially a menu of commands that the LLM can order client to perform. For example, the LLM might order a dish called read file to read specific file in your code base or search files to look for certain files, write to file to actually write code, or any other dish that client can perform on your behalf. This portion of the system prompt essentially gives the model the means to navigate your code base through client's internal mechanism that are exposed as tools. The tool section takes up the majority of client system prompt because it's what makes client client. Moving on to the next section, which is system information. Right underneath the tool section, client also provides context about your coding workspace and appends them inside the system prompt. Details like your operating system, your folder directory, and preferred terminals are sent as additional context so that the model knows what environment it's working with. The final section of the system prompt is user preferences. Just a quick review, the tool section from earlier outlines information about client, the system information outlines information about your code base, and now the user preference section outlines information about you. In order for any prompts that you send to client to remain consistent within your preferences, client will also append details about you in the system prompt. Persistent rules like client rules that you have saved are added to this section of the system prompt. And back to the menu analogy, while the tool sections can be thought of as dishes that the LLM can order, the user preference sections can be thought of as details like your dietary restrictions so that the model doesn't order a client to do something outside of the preferences that you've identified. So all of these components work in harmony to make necessary changes in your code base. And the system prompt serves as a backbone that unites three disparate entities together. And it's through this constitution called system prompt that client is able to ensure smooth execution execution of your requests.